everybody. Welcome to Ohm Sweet Ohm. I'm yoga instructor Allison Schuster, and today we're at the Rose Schneider YMCA, and we're talking to Anissa Tecklenberg. Hi, Anissa. Hey, Allison. Thank you so much for joining us today. Super excited to be here. Well, we're pretty excited to be here at the pool. Now, tell me what you do here at the Y. I am a swim instructor, and I also do private lessons. Likewise with the homeschool class that we have here on Thursdays. And this is what I wanted to talk about today. We want to talk about swim lessons because, well for me, paddleboard season is coming up. So SUP yoga is coming up. Yep. It's time to get back on the water. And anytime we think about that, we start to think swim lessons. Now, everybody thinks about, oh, I need to put my child into swim lessons, but let's talk first about adults. You teach adults as well. I do, yes. Okay, so the Y has programs for adults to learn to swim. We do. Can you tell us about those? Absolutely. Um, first of all, I'm really excited when they do come to class because it's a fun place to be. Uh, you want to have fun in the water. You want to enjoy that experience, and you can't play outside as easily without that. So when they come into class, we basically will go over just some basic water skills, comfort level, um, basic stroke development, and to be honest, really just enjoying the water. Um, and it's really hard because they're so hesitant about getting in the water, um, even when they can stand in the water. But by the time we've had our session, uh, they're comfortable. Whether they're swim team quality, it doesn't matter they're comfortable about being there and they're excited to have had the opportunity. So I, I'm glad that they came because and I they need that. And a lot of people don't know that there are lessons just for adults. In other words, you don't have to be in a class with children. No. These are just adults. That's right. And you're opening up another fitness avenue because I think one of the sad things about not being able to swim mm -hmm. is you miss out on oh, yeah. an avenue of fitness and health and wellness that is sort of lifelong. I mean, swimming. Absolutely can be a lifelong. I know you and I are both swimmers and we both love swimming. Yep. But there's so many benefits, not just the cardiovascular, but also strength and mm -hmm. flexibility. Some of the things we love in yoga, Yes. we also can supplement <clears throat> with swimming. Oh yeah, and, and it's a low impact sport, so you don't have to worry about your joints uh, being affected by it. Um, it's also a, a great uh, lung exercise as well because you're, you're using your lungs in a different way. Uh, to be honest, the swimmers that I have had, the, pri the private lessons, a lot of the uh, adults are in private lessons just because they're at the comfort level. Um, they really just want to feel comfortable swimming laps safely and um, they're not necessarily looking to be out on a boat or be on a paddleboard, but they want to swim laps here because they can't run anymore or um, they're not comfortable biking. So they're, they're really building a whole lifelong um, experience that they wouldn't have had if they didn't come to the Cool. But let's talk about the safety aspect though too. I mean, we do have wonderful waterways here. It's we have the three rivers. Yep. We've got Moraine State Park so close by. Beautiful. And what a shame to miss out on that if you're worried about stepping onto that pontoon boat or going out on a paddleboard because you can't swim. And that's the, the, the part when I go back to being a younger uh, swimmer as well. If families could have brought children at a younger age you wouldn't have that older individual being so nervous to get out and play. Right. And uh, you and I both are big outdoor enthusiasts, and it makes me saddened to know that they're scared to go and play in a kayak or a paddleboard uh, because of that water. Again, and an avenue that is closed, you know, it is. for health and wellness <clears throat> and, yep. and so much enjoyment with other people in our area. Mm -hmm. And it we is. wait for the weather to get nice so that we can get back out on the water. It's true, it's yeah. true. And we've had a couple of uh, actually uh, older adults who have done that. They came here uh, to, to learn how to swim and then they have become paddleboarders, avid paddleboarders. And you couldn't awesome. have done that if you weren't a swimmer because you are going to fall, as you know. Right, in your right you're going to fall. You are going to fall. fall. <laughs> so uh, that's great. And I know even as a, a younger adult, I used to kayak a lot, whitewater kayaks uh, and even just um, sea kayaking. And there were people that would stand on the side watching and just waving and wanting to get in the water, but they couldn't, they were they uncomfortable. Couldn't. And so it's been a wonderful opportunity to be able to get that comfort level up for them. And it takes a little longer than it would be if you were a child, hence bring your children in early, but um, they get over it. They get over that hump, that fear factor, and it's, it's wonderful. Now let's talk about the kids. 
How young is too young? I know you and I are like, as soon as you can get them in the water, That's get them right. in the water. Well, really, whenever you feel comfortable as a parent bringing your child in, um, I know with my children and many other parents do this, you can bring them in as soon as they have cognitive uh, cognition with you, you know, whether they're looking at you having eye contact. Um, you really want them to have that eye contact, that comfort level with you. I, we've had kids in the parent and me classes um, four months, five months, even younger. But to get that true comfort level with a, a parent or a grandparent in the pool, it's nicer when they're a little bit more aware. And then when they are at that awareness level, I mean, you can take them in and they love it. They love blowing bubbles, they love going underwater, they love kicking and splashing and they're not, not fearful of that. And that's what you want at a younger age. And again, building a lifelong activity for them yep. as well as safety. I mean, if, if we're talking about Huge. all of the ponds, all of the lakes, all the backyard pools. That's right. You got to know how to swim so safety. that it's not a danger. But then also giving them something that can last a lifetime for health and wellness. Mm -hmm. Now, I know we have some swim team members back there as well. Yep. You know, so you could launch this into the high school swim team or the Y has a competitive team. They do. And I think you'll see some of them coming actually here. A lot of kids, even in the homeschool class, they want to be in that competitive level, but they're not quite there yet. They want to learn how to get there. And that's the nice thing about the Y and other programs in the area that you can start at a basic level and progress and progress safely and confidently and confidently as well. Um, we don't pass people just because you're my best friend. You know, that's, <laughs> that's silly. Uh, we want them to feel comfortable and confident and huge, huge component of all my classes is safety. So when a parent does come in, and I apologize parents, but if you're coming in to look for someone to have your kid look like a star, I will safely and, and in time because they, they really do need to have those safety skills. Whether it's laying on their back and, and looking up so they can talk to the, a lifeguard or a parent or getting an, a, just a, a fresh breath of air if they can't go on their stomach and do a front crawl anymore. Basic, simple things and a lot of children, it takes a while to get on your back. And I think that's a wonderful thing about this program is it's not only about safety and learning how to swim, but building confidence that can carry over into the other aspects That's of their huge. lives. I agree. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's just like, just like striking the perfect yoga pose. Gives you a little confidence. <laughs> Yoga's just, a practice, yeah. just like swim can just be. Just like swim can be. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Now, we have programs for all ages of children at the Y, do we not? So we do. Mm -hmm. We can start young with the mommy and me or Absolutely. parent and child mm -hmm. class, and it can progress all the way through high school. Oh, yeah. And after the mommy and me classes, you'll start at three years old to actually have a, an independent of parent or uh, guardian class. So from three all the way up to high school, they have that opportunity. And the stages are all very progressive um, and safety oriented and um, really all of the core values that the Y provides too, just being responsible as well and kind. Uh, bottom line, if you feel your child enjoys swim, there's an opportunity uh, for them to ex expose them without uh, any fear. Uh, all of the, the instructors are at that com comfortable level with children. They love children. We love swimming. So hence, it's, it's a good uh, mix and we're excited about it. Tell us what we can do if we want to sign up for programs at the Y. How do we contact the Y? We, we'd have to go to the front desk. Um, you can call first, but if you would go to the front desk, then they would actually refer you to our aquatics uh, director, Michelle Gonzalez. She, in turn, will provide you with what you need in regards to what your age and, and level and ability. Bottom line, go on the website. Um, there, All of the classes are all online. Registrations are about every seven to eight weeks. Uh, so we encourage parents to try to look a little bit beforehand. Classes do fill up quickly, and um, especially this time of year, everybody's getting excited about summer. The burst of energy that we have from the sun, these last, they're ready to go, and they yeah. want their kid to be safe. So we do too. And so please go online and check out all the different programs we have. And so as we start to look into spring and the sun coming out and getting out there, now's the time to learn to swim, whether you're an adult or a child. <laughs> 
that's true. It's, Absolutely. It's time to get out on the water. Yeah, yeah. come and play. Well, thank you so much, Adisa. <laughs> we're so glad that you joined us here today. Well, thanks for and having me. And we're actually going to go someplace you know. We're going to head down to Evolve Wellness Center for our yoga portion today. I'll meet you in a moment on the mat. Let's start out and seated. Bringing the arms to either side, take a nice deep breath in. Palms come together, gaze at the thumbs, and exhale. And again, inhale up, gaze at the thumbs, exhale down. One last time, inhale up, and exhale down. Closing the eyes, taking a nice deep breath in, centering yourself for your practice today. Then opening the eyes, shifting forward, and hopping back to down dog. Let's inhale up onto the balls of the feet and exhale, release. Inhale up, exhale, release. Gazing between the two hands, step hopper jump, top of the mat, nice deep sun breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, right leg steps back, crescent lunge. Exhale, release, humble warrior. Arms down alongside, deep inhale, all the way up, warrior one. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Flipping the palm, create a little space and reverse your warrior. Take a nice deep breath in and cartwheel down to the mat. Two feet together into plank, take it down through chaturanga, cobra, and down dog. Gazing between the two hands, step hopper jump top of the mat, nice deep sun breath in. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, left leg steps back, crescent lunge. Exhale, release, humble warrior. Arms down alongside, deep inhale all the way up, warrior one. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Flipping the palm, lean out over your leg, reverse your warrior. Take a nice deep breath in and cartwheel down to the mat. Two feet together into plank. Take it down through chaturanga, cobra, and down dog. Inhale the right leg up to the ceiling. On the exhale, bend at the knee. Bring the heel to the small of the back. Three-legged dog. Press away from the mat. Keep lifting the hips higher. You can hold right here. Continuing to draw the heel to the small of the back. Or if you want to follow that heel, take it all the way over and flip your dog. In flip dog, we press the hips up to the ceiling, trying to even out the hips. Reach with the arm. Bring it all the way back to the mat. Extend the leg nice and long and let it float all the way through the hands. Rise up, warrior one. Reach for the ceiling and exhale, take it down to the mat. Two feet together into plank, knees come down, chin, chest lifts into cobra, and press back, downward facing dog. Inhale up onto the balls of the feet, exhale, release. Inhale up, exhale, release. Gaze between those two hands, step hopper jump top of the mat, Nice deep sun breath in. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, right leg steps back, crescent lunge, reach the arms for the ceiling. Can you open out, widen out the arms, out to the side, flip the palms towards the ceiling, maybe even drop the head. One nice deep breath here. And exhale, bring those arms back up to the ceiling. Take them all the way down to the floor. Two feet together, knees come down, chin to the mat, lifting up the chest, and press it back, down dog. Inhale the left leg up to the ceiling. On the exhale, bring the heel to the small of the back, three-legged dog. Press away from the mat, nice hard press into the mat, lifting the hips up to the ceiling. 
drawing the heel towards your backside. See if you can open the side body, nice stretch along the rib cage. Maybe following the foot the whole way over, flip your dog. Pressing those hips up to the ceiling. Reach with the arm, arm can come forward, it can even come to the heart. Then strong arm all the way back over. Extend the leg nice and long and bring it all the way through the hands. Reach it up, nice strong warrior one, and take it down to the mat. Two feet together into plank, knees come down, chin, and lift the chest. Press it back, down dog, gazing between those two hands, step, hop, or jump, top of the mat, nice deep sun breath in. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, left leg steps back. Crescent lunge, reach the arms for the ceiling. Nice strong arms, drop the shoulders down, don't crowd the ears. Now widen out the hands. Straight out from the body, flip the palms to the ceiling. Maybe even dropping the head. One breath here, nice deep breath in. Then exhale, reach the arms up and take it all the way down to the mat. Two feet together into plank. Take it down through Chaturanga, Cobra, and Down Dog. Gazing between the two hands, step hopper, jump top of the mat. Nice deep sun breath in. And bring those hands to heart center. Widen out the feet. Let's take it down to the mat through prayer squat. Staying up on the toes, lengthen with the crown of the head. Maybe those arms come out to either side. Maybe you flip the palms to the ceiling one more time. Maybe even gazing upward. Then bring the hands to the mat and slowly lower down to the mat. Bringing the feet to the mat, knees to the ceiling. Let's cross the right over the left. Lifting the left leg up to 90 degrees. Take your hands, put them through the hole you've created, interlace the fingers behind the left thigh. Take a nice deep breath in. And let's draw the thigh to the chest. See if you can relax the head and the shoulders down to the mat. Another deep breath in. Using the exhale, maybe that leg can come in just a little bit closer. Maybe right arm gently presses the right leg away. One more breath here. Drawing in on the exhale and slowly let those feet float back to the floor. Crossing the left over the right. Right leg lifts up 90 degrees. Taking your hands through the hole you've created, take a nice deep breath in. See if you can draw the thigh closer to the chest. Use the strength of your arms and the exhale to lengthen and create the stretch. Maybe the left arm presses onto the left leg. Little gentle counter pressure in the opposite direction. One more breath. And then slowly let the feet float back down to the mat. Drawing those heels into the small of the back. On the next inhale, let's press through the big toe mounds, lifting the hips up to the ceiling, knees tracking towards the front of the room. Lift the hip points up to the ceiling, coming into bridge. Maybe rolling the shoulders underneath. Interlace the fingers for a little more height and continue to lift. Hold it here, one more breath, and then slowly lower down. Draw those knees into the chest, forehead comes to the knees, nice tight little ball. And as you exhale, arms come out into a T, let the legs fold over to the right side. One nice deep breath here. Then slowly bring those knees back into the chest. Forehead comes to the knees. Tight little ball. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. Let the legs fold over to the left side. A nice deep breath in. Gaze out over the right arm. And slowly bring it back to center. Feet float back down to the mat, grabbing a bolster. Let's lift up into our bridge once again. 
using the bolster for supported bridge. Place the bolster right at the small of the back where the tailbone meets the pelvis. You can rest into the bolster and supported bridge or maybe the feet come up towards the ceiling. Put a nice bend in the knee. Make it a nice restorative inversion. All the benefits of headstand and handstand. Reversing the blood flow back to the vital organs. Maybe you move those feet. Point and flex the feet. Maybe turning the ankles in circles. Switching directions. Maybe you can take the legs out into a straddle. You can reach up for the inner thighs. Help that straddle along. Using gravity in the breath to create the stretch. Take a nice deep breath here. Then let's bring the legs back together. Let them slowly float back down to the mat. Lifting up to remove the bolster. Setting it aside. Draw those knees into the chest. Forehead comes to the knees. Nice tight little ball. Then just widen out the legs. Grab on behind the thighs. Rock and roll all the way back up to seated. Taking the arms out to either side. Take a nice deep breath in. Bring the palms together overhead. Gaze at the thumbs. And exhale. Release. Again, nice deep breath in, palms together. Exhale, empty out the lungs. One more, closing the eyes, nice deep breath in. Palms together overhead. And bring those hands to heart center, opening the eyes and gazing out over the fingertips. Explore a new challenge for yourself, knowing that the best time to do it is right now. Find the light within you. Take it out into the world. Namaste.